this episode, we start welding the car. Hey everyone, and welcome to today's episode. So today, this is part two of our welding the Fiesta ST back together. Now, before we get into part two, I want to make it very clear. I am an amateur welder. So I know you guys are really busy on the comments and I value all the comments that you give. But remember, I haven't done a lot of welding, so what you're gonna see today may not be the best. In fact, I know it's not the best. So be kind. And I've just prompted you to not be kind, haven't I? Anyway, so um, it's not the monetis of weld that you're gonna see, guys. So I'm just pre-warning you on that. But it is sturdy. And just to give you a little bit of background, a lot of you guys have been saying, well, I need to measure the points. And I totally agree that if I had the correct angling tools, I can make sure that the corners um, are correctly aligned up and that they haven't been pushed back. But I haven't been able to do that, unfortunately, because I don't have those tools that you need to be able to do that. So I've done it roughly using tape measures, etc., and bits of wood. The, to the best of my ability. I've not shown that in the video because it is kind of amateurish, but it's kind of given me a guide on from what I can see, it's all straight. And also the actual panel that I'm fitting, there's two pieces that are fitted and I'm gonna show you them on screen right now. So those two pieces that I fitted, what I did before I cut out the old piece, I actually drew a line around with a pencil so I knew where the new pieces would fit exactly. That was the only way I could get an accurate um, measurement to know exactly where it would go. And I'm pretty satisfied with the way that it's gone. Now I have checked and double checked to make sure that this has been put back right in, in the sense that it's um, strong, it's a strong weld. And even though I'm gonna show you the welding that I'm doing, and it, I didn't quite do it right on the video, so I've gone back and done it again to make sure that it has the strength because although this is not the main structural part of the car, it is a strength bearing beam. So we need to make sure that it's right. So I've done it to the best of my ability and I hope that you enjoy that. So without further ado, let's crack on and let me show you what I've done in terms of getting this back together. Okay, so let's crack on with today's line of work. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take off the windscreen wipers, then I'm gonna take off the scuttle panel here. I'm gonna put these screws in bags that I've got. And then by taking off this scuttle panel here, and that's gonna expose this area here, which is, we can then use to measure up our sides. So I'm gonna show you the sides now that what we're going to put together. Okay, so here's our two sides. So this is the panel that was delivered last week. This is the one that we were waiting for that's finally arrived. So this panel fits into here, a bit like so. So essentially, goes onto here like that, okay? And then this panel here, they go together like that, okay? So when these two are together, you can see that it forms quite an a, a, a integral part of the arm that goes along here. So what we need to do is we need to drill some holes in here so that we can then weld this top piece to this piece here. But before we do that, what I'm gonna do, rather than use this whole piece here, I'm actually gonna cut it um, at some point. I'm not sure where I'm gonna cut it yet. What I wanna do is get it into place and get a good, piece together so that it's in its rightful location then I'm gonna cut it so probably just we've got two screws holes here that's all fine and there's no point in me cutting all of this area here out of the way just to get this whole panel in I'm gonna leave that as it is because that that's gonna save a whole lot of work and I'll cut it probably along this line here straight down and then we'll use this then we'll but basically we'll screw it against here well not screw it, we'll weld it into this piece here and then this piece will then form the outer of this, this piece here. So that's the plan, but before we do that I need to do some cleaning up here so I can get some um, good um, grips and I still need to tidy up 
a little bit down here which is still a little bit bent so once I get that sorted then we can do that but the first thing we're going to do is take the scuttle panel off so that we can then get some area some space down here so we know what we are doing right let's crack on and get that done Okay, so with the scuttle panel off now, we can now get more um, involved with this. So this is the original panel, which is the one that I cut off earlier on, down here. You can see him hanging there. He's got one cable holding him on, so I need to get rid of that. So this bit here, we need to cut off. Now, as you can see, I've drilled it out, but it's still fastened here really firmly. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna get my, um, I'm going to get my sander, no I'm not, I'm not going to get my sander, I'm going to get my um, angle grinder and um, see if we can cut this piece out here and take this out here. So once we get that off, then we'll get the angle, angle grinder and then we will make a measured cut. So we'll cut straight down, straight down here, right down and then that will be our clean piece. Okay, so all of this area here which has been damaged that will be taken away. Then we'll straighten this piece up here because this is going to connect to our new piece that we've got. And then we should be able to make a couple of joins up here, welding, just weld this piece here together. So that's the plan. Let's see how we get on. Okay, it's time to drill. So what we're gonna do, we've now taken off that top level that you saw on the um, B stream there for a second. Ow. Um, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna drill out these little spot welds here, up to about here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once we drill these out, that should free up this underneath, which will allow me to then um, take this piece off and then we'll cut across here. We'll measure up first just to make sure that we're going to align it just right and then we'll cut it somewhere along here. So we'll drill them out first then we will um, cut it down across here. Right, drilling done. So we've drilled out our holes here. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to get my bolster and we're gonna see if we can knock out this panel. See if it at least will come loose. Right. That's all done now, so that's all loose. So, as you can see behind here, we've got, this is our panel that we're going to be welding up to. Um, now, what we need to do now is we need to cut a line. So I'm thinking just cutting a straight line, basically from here right down, okay? And then after that, we will um, slightly overlap, I think. Yeah. Because on the other side here, we've got these nuts here, which are bolted to here. Um, you could just see them here. So they're welded on. And that's what the, um, the um, mount strap for the, um, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? You know, the hood, the bonnet. That's what that connects to. So rather than disturb that, I'm going to I'll have a little think about the way I'm going to do this because I need to obviously cut it in a way that I'm leaving an overlap 
but at the same time remembering that the original fits behind here and not in front so let me have a think about how I'll do that and then I will go ahead and cut it so yeah so basically straight down here but I'll leave a little bit of overlap to allow me to be able to weld here yeah so I'll cut this straight that's what I'm gonna do I'll cut this straight but the piece that's gonna go over what I'll do is I'll cut it so that basically this will be my it will allow me to weld to that and then I can then weld to the back of that something like that yeah okay okay so we've cut the piece now so if you recall what we've done we hammer this down here so that it's sitting firm against the back we're going to put a little spot weld there then give it a little bit of a sand to get it flush then this piece here will go on top here like that and as you can see this this bit here fits absolutely flush it's covering up the original joins at the top here just up here so that's all covered up now so we know that's absolutely dead straight and it's sitting right inside this aperture here so what we'll do is we will do a couple of holes here to secure it to the strut here and then we will basically we'll seal this bit here so i'm going to hammer this piece in here so it's sitting nice and close and then we will then weld this here this bit here but first of all i'm gonna have to clean this up here so we've got a nice good um decent earth when we um start welding so um, let's get on and do that Okay, so we've pre-drilled all our holes. So as you can see, there are several holes here. Plus we've done one at the top here, so when we mount it here, and yes, it is in the middle of the two holes that I've origi originally drilled. So I'm gonna get this fixed up in place, and I'm gonna use some secure mounts, and a metal one here. <laughs> this will give it a nice close, um, fit to the original panel, then we can start some welding. Okay, welding time. So my welder, because I know you're gonna ask me in the comments, is a display for top welder. It's a cheap welder. It's a MIG welder and it's a gasless one. Um, it's the MIG 130 model range. And if you are interested in buying this, I will put a link in my Amazon store um, so check out the link in the description below and that will take you to the store and you will see this welder okay so let's get this weld in and let's see how we get on with this okay it's not the best welding. I'm not a welder. It's my first time really. But um, it will it's it's in place. I will clean it up a little bit and then I'm going to offer up the second piece. So it's all in place nice and firm. So I'm really happy with that. Um, I do have to flatten out the back here a little bit better. So this is more flush, so what I'll probably end up doing is crushing that in place uh, with my um, tool over there. And then we will then give that a couple of welds and see how we get on with that. But yeah, so far so good. And this is all lined up well. And um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's try the next bit. Right, okay, so we've got the um, outer piece now put in place and all lined up perfectly down the bottom as well as at the top. And what we've done, we have drilled some holes so you can see the holes here, here. Essentially what we've done, we've mimicked the spot holes that are there. So what we'll do now is we'll just weld those holes up and um, that should put them in place. And of course we've got the Three big welds down there to do as well so let's get on and do that and then 
that should complete this piece. Okay, so that's all done now, all in place, all welded up. Very pleased with that. It's not the neatest of welds, I admit. For all you welders out there who are looking at this in horror, this is not the neatest of weld. But it is firmly in place and that's not going anywhere. It's also lining up perfectly. What I did, and I'll show you in a second, I did a test fit of the bumper sorry the wing before I welded anything up so basically I had all the clamps in place and I test fitted it to make sure that it was fine and I've done it again since and that has lined up okay so on the inside here I've still got this bit here to do I'm not going to concentrate that at the moment I need to get some paint which I've ordered that's not here unfortunately and then what we're going to do is I'm going to clean this up a little bit more or well, I'm going to clean it up period and then after that I will then spray this all up not before doing some wax all in the inside to make sure that we protect all the inside of hair from corroding because uh, yeah it needs to be protected let me fit the wing up this is a mock fit so it's not a proper fit but you'll see how the wing fits and how it looks okay so that's the wing just literally lightly fitted so there's no gaps alignment or anything not bolted at the bottom just one bolt in between that window there that's holding the whole thing together but as you can see it all lines up nicely so we've got our two wing holes there and like I said this is not in place um, properly but it's lining up just well and then down the bottom here we've got here where the other hole lines up as well just like so so very pleased with that it's gone very well um, so we just got to sort this out and then after that we'll paint it and make it look good unfortunately there was one casualty of war so this hair caught fire so I'm gonna have to rewire that but luckily I've got plenty more of my shrink kit so we'll do all those and get those sorted and then it will be all good again okay so that's it for this week I'm pretty pleased with what we've been able to achieve no doubt you're gonna tell me where I've gone wrong in the comments below totally happy for you to do that so let me know what I've done wrong because I've not finished this until I've read your comments and I do read your comments because it's really important to me this is a learning channel and it's all about um, sharing experiences so if you are an experienced welder you've seen that I've done something wrong put it in the comments below but if you're a casual viewer like I always say don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up and press that notification button so that you are notified every time we release a new video so next week Monday that's bank holiday Monday US you're gonna get a vlog on bank holiday Monday you're not taking a holiday we don't take a holiday on this channel you're gonna see me, um, I've got a little bit more welding to do because there's an inner panel that still needs to be bonded to the new panel that I've put into place. So I'm gonna um, attend that, I just need to um, panel beat. And yes, I am gonna panel beat that. I've done as much as I can, you've seen that in the video, but I'm gonna do some more to make it even better. Then we are gonna fit the front um, crash bar. So I'm gonna remove the front crash bar and then we're gonna get the irradiators all lined up and then hopefully we'll be able to get some fluid in the car and that will sort out the um, heating and cooling system. So that will be fixed. Essentially the car can be driven and I'm gonna fit the wing. So a lot to be coming still. And you're looking forward to that. And I will see you guys on Monday. So have a good rest of the week and we will see you on Monday.